Some new updates on the SSI Restoration Act, which would permanently raise benefits for nearly 10 million SSI beneficiaries. This is a great program and we finally have some new updates. Let's get into it and discuss what is going on. Welcome everyone, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video so I can be here for you each and every day to keep you updated with everything going on right now, including the SSI Restoration Act, which is exactly what we'll discuss in this video. I'm back every single day with all of these updated videos as there's a lot going on right now and I am very much committed and dedicated to helping out everybody in this community in any way that I possibly can. So thank you so much for your support. Make sure to subscribe right down below the video and again, share this video with your friends, family, and social media, especially if you know somebody who is receiving SSI as this is a very cool and great update with this program. So let's get into it and thank you once again for your support. I truly appreciate it and just remember I'm here to help out and I'm here for you every single day no matter what. All right, so let's get into it. So for the last few months now, we've been talking about this SSI Restoration Act. Well, as we know, anything going through Congress typically takes a very long time. It's usually a very, very slow process to work its way through Congress. However, just a few months ago, a group of 18 Democratic senators revitalized this SSI Restoration Act and once again brought it to the Senate, and they want to start working on this thing to actually bring it into fruition and reform the SSI program. Now, as of right now, there's just under 10 million people in the United States who are receiving SSI benefits on a monthly basis. So by reforming this program, they would ultimately be impacting in a really good way about 10 million people. That's great. I mean, seriously, that is a lot of people and it would be really nice to help out these people a little bit more. Let me quickly run through what this SSI Restoration Act includes. I'm not going to hit on everything because there's a lot about it, but I will hit on some of the major headlines in this SSI Restoration Act as it is a really good plan. And ultimately, if you're receiving SSI or you know somebody who is, this would be some really good reform. Even though it's not perfect, because basically, you know, a lot of these proposals are not perfect. It's certainly something that would be really, really good and it would help out a ton for everybody receiving these benefits. All right, so let's run through these quickly and then we can discuss this new update and the latest information as far as what is coming out in reference to this SSI Restoration Act. All right, so as we know, the SSI program, otherwise known as Supplemental Security Income, as of right here, right now in 2021, is paying beneficiaries $794 each and every month, which as we know, is significantly below the federal poverty line in the United States. In fact, the federal poverty line about right now is $1,073 each and every month. So as you can see, nearly $300 each and every month under the federal poverty line. That's a lot, right? And as we all know, $794 to live on each and every month is getting pretty hard these days, right? So yeah, but within the SSI Restoration Act, one of the things that they wanna do is raise benefits to a minimum of 100% of the federal poverty line, which I said at this time is $12,880 each and every year or averaged out or divided out by the 12 months of the year comes out to $1,073 each and every month. That would be a $279 raise each and every month for SSI. Not bad, right? That would certainly be really nice right there. So that is one major, major benefit it right there. One other thing they have in the SSI Restoration Act is they want to increase the resource limits from what they currently are right now, which you probably know is very, very low. You can't have much money at all if you are receiving SSI. Otherwise, they may reduce or possibly even eliminate your benefits. Well, they want to raise the resource limits for a single person up to $10,000. And as a married couple, they want to raise the benefit or the resource limit, I should say, up to $20,000. Again, amazing, right? Just think if you were a single person receiving SSI and you could stick away $10,000 and not be penalized. How would that feel? Would you be pretty excited? I'm guessing you'd be pretty happy. $10,000 is a pretty nice amount of money, seriously. 
I'd be super happy to have $10,000 set aside at any given point, especially if we go into a situation where we deal with another 2020 type situation. It'd be really nice to be able to lean back on about $10,000 saved up, right? I think everybody could probably agree with that. $10,000 would certainly be great especially the resource limits that they have right now. It's not very much. It's not very much to lean back on, right? It's not much of an emergency fund at all. But either way, even a $20,000 emergency fund for a married couple, again, amazing. Seriously, it'd take a long time to build that up. But if you had it, wow, that'd be pretty cool, right? All right, so that's another one that they want to include with this SSI Restoration Act. And another big headliner in there with the SSI Restoration Act is they want to remove the marriage penalty. Now, I've seen this down in the comments section numerous different times. Many of you reach out to me and say, yeah, they really need to pull off this marriage penalty because if we, you know, if I find somebody, if I'm receiving SSI, I find somebody that I want to marry and all of a sudden I know that I'm going to get it penalized, you know, that's not fair. I shouldn't be have to, I shouldn't get penalized because I want to marry the person that I've fallen in love with, right? So I've seen that so many times down in the comments section. That's a really tough one right there. Seriously, they need to remove that. That just doesn't make any sense at all. Now, here's the thing with this SSI program. It has not gone under um, significant reform since the program was actually implemented way back in the early 70s. <laughs> yeah, a long time. Almost 50 years ago was the last time that SSI was actually reformed, 1972. Wow. Well, I shouldn't even say it was reformed. That's just the last time it was actually done anything to it because that's when the program was actually um, incepted, actually put into action. Yeah, long, long time ago, nearly 50 years ago. So, of course, they need some updates on this thing. All right, so... Here's what we know as of right now. I've had a number of people reaching out to me asking for an update on the SSI Restoration Act. So here's what we know. They are still currently working on this thing. It is still alive and well. They are currently working on this thing right now, The uh, this group of 18 uh, Democratic senators. They are still working on the SSI Restoration Act. Here is one quick snag, though. They're still up for debate whether they can actually add it into the reconciliation bill or not. It's up for debate simply because we're not quite sure yet if the Senate parliamentarian will allow it to be within the reconciliation bill. Some people say yes, no problem, and some people come out and say mm, it's kind of you know, borderline. It's kind of in that gray area. We're not quite sure if it can actually be in the reconciliation bill. However, many people are very much convinced that it can be in the reconciliation bill, which would be great considering they want to get this thing passed very, very soon here. If that's the case and they actually add it into the reconciliation bill, we could potentially be looking at a passing on the SSI Restoration Act, otherwise known as reform to the SSI program, relatively quickly. Well, I guess my next question would be, how soon can you raise the benefits up and start getting those out to the door to the people, right? I guess that'd be my main question is how quickly would they be able to increase the benefits to that 100% of the federal poverty line and actually get those out the door to everybody receiving these benefits right away? So would it take a couple months? Would it be, um, would it go into effect in early 2022? I mean, all of these are really good questions and we don't quite know the answers to that yet because it's still up in the air whether it can actually be in the reconciliation bill or not. But either way, it is still very much alive and well right now. They're still working on it and it sounds like they want to get this thing into the reconciliation bill, which would be absolutely amazing, especially if they want to get this thing passed here within a matter of just a few weeks from now. That would be really, really good, right? Especially if they could get this thing passed, the bill passed, the SSI Restoration Act included within it, and all of a sudden they pass it up and all of a sudden get these new benefits um, out in order and actually sent out to the people right away. That'd be like, you know, Christmas early, right? I mean, it'd be a really nice thing for millions of people receiving these benefits. Like I said, almost 10 million people in the United States right now are drawing on SSI benefits each and every month. That would be incredibly good, right? It'd be great. So yeah, some really good stuff here with the SSI program or yeah, SSI program and the SSI Restoration Act. Either way, if they don't get it in the reconciliation bill, it makes me think that maybe they will probably follow it up shortly thereafter because it looks like they want to get this thing done relatively quickly and they have a lot of support for it. So it makes me wonder if they don't actually get it in the reconciliation bill, will it follow up the reconciliation bill shortly thereafter, maybe in its own standalone bill 
or like what's their plan? I'm not really sure, but uh, it sounds like the first stop for them is just to plop it right into the reconciliation bill, which would be so great, right? So anyway, good stuff. I just came across this. I wanted to give you a quick update because as I've continued to say, I will continue to keep you updated as I get more information and we're finally getting some good stuff on this. So make sure to subscribe right down below the video as I will keep you updated each and every day with all the latest updates with everything going on. And you want to make sure to uh, catch all my videos going forward as it's going to get really busy. I mean, seriously, it's been busy for a while now, but as we approach the end of the month, it's just going to get even more busy, literally day by day by day. It'll continue getting even more busy, right? So Thank you again for your support. I really appreciate it. Make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and social media as there's a lot of people out there receiving SSI. And if you know anybody re receiving SSI, you probably want to share this video with them so that they can be informed with the latest updates on this. So thank you again. I really appreciate it. Share the videos. Go back and check out some other videos here on the channel. And of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you again. I'll see you in the next video. And I hope you enjoyed 